I think it's pretty clear when we think about it that one whole pie is the same thing as having four out of four pieces of pie. So here's a whole pie. Oops, sorry about that. Fill that in. That's the same thing as having all four pieces of this pie. So here's the whole pie. Here's four out of four pieces of pie. It's the same. You have the same amount of pie. And this would be true no matter what number we chose. So we could have four out of four pieces. We could have uh, seven out of seven pieces of pie. We'd still have the whole thing. We could have a thousand and one out of a thousand and one pieces of pie. If we have as many pieces as we, as the num we, we, well, let me put it this way. If we cut the pie into a thousand and one pieces and then we take all thousand and one of them, well, we, we have the whole pie. So that works for any number. That works for any number. And we can erase the, the pie part and just think of these numbers. So 1 is equal to 4 over 4. Just like, just like we were just saying, it's also equal to 1001 divided by 1001, or any number divided by itself. So a number divided by that same number. Okay, knowing that, what happens if we multiply Uh, let's say we have 2 over 2 times 1 fourth. Well, we know how to multiply fractions. That's easy. It's just 2 times 1, which is 2. And then we have 2 times 4, which is 8. So let's see what 2 eighths looks like. So Here's a pie cut into eight equal pieces, and we're going to take two of them. Now, let me go back and do something here. Oops. There we go. Okay. So all I wanted to do was show us again what one-fourth looks like. So one-fourth is, is this exact same amount of pi as two-eighths. Why is that? Well, because of this right here. We multiplied by 2 over 2, but we just, just, just talked about the fact that that's the same thing as 1. This is the, this is like all the, uh, 2 over 2 is the same thing as 1, so it's like we multiplied by 1. 1 times 1 fourth is equal to 1 fourth. So these two equations are giving us the same information really. One-fourth and two-eighths are the exact same amount. It's just that we kind of disguised one, so to speak, by, multi by, by calling it two over two. But we just, just talked about the fact that that really is the same thing as one. Make sure you understand this. This is, a, this is something that will come up throughout your math career the fact that you can multiply by a number over itself and that is the same thing as multiplying by one. Okay, I, I hope this helps. I'll see you in the next video.